Well, technically, the stuff that we dig up from northeastern Alberta is bitumen. That's, that's the geological term. But it has been called tar for decades and decades because the stuff just looks and feels and smells a heck of a lot like tar. So it was a convenient descriptive term. But then somewhere around the early 1990s or so, there was a shift and all of a sudden the tar sands became the oil sands and the individuals who continued to use the term tar sands were sanctioned. They were, they were criticized. They were told that they're using the wrong term, despite the fact that this is the term that we've been using for, for the better part of a century to, uh, to describe this resource. Uh, and, but it makes perfect sense that we saw this shift happen because when you think about tar, you know, it, it's, it's, it's gooey. It's something that gets stuck on the bottom of your shoe. Whereas, whereas oil represents something that's <clears throat> that you're more likely to want to hang your reputation on. So now we have the situation where, where these, these two words are, are immediately tell the listener what side you're on. So if I, if I refer to bitumen as tar sands, then I must be an opponent and I want to stop this enterprise. And if I refer to this resource as the oil sands, then I must be a supporter. And it's all in the name.